so hi everyone today we will be discussing about modern bird a new version of bird that has been released recently and has been looking great so it is said to be providing a longer sequence length of 8192 better at downstream performances and a much faster processing so in all in all it has outperformed almost all the bird variants and should be your go to model for any sort of bird related task the model has been released into two versions one is a base 139 million parameters and large about 400 million parameters so let's try to understand the different aspects of modern bird and how it is a better version of the existing bird model so looking at the introduction provided on the official blog bird was released in 2018 and since then we have got multiple variants be it roberta be it electric electra etc here they are showing that the pareto's efficiency runtime versus glue so basically what a pareto efficiency means is uh you might be improving on certain metric but taking a hit on other metric but this time uh, modern bird is not like that it is improving on the metrics as well and improving on the efficiency part also so this is what the pareto efficiency shows ki if a model is improving on the glue score uh the runtime is slower but for in case of modern base and modern large you can see that the glue score alongside the run time uh output per token is also fast so both are better so it has now defined the pareto's efficiency apart from that as you can see they have mentioned that modern but also increases context length to 8k tokens which is usually just 500 tokens for most encoders by the way i guess i missed it is a encoder based model and not a decoder based model So the LLMs that we hear about, be it Llama, GPT, Claude, are all decoder-based models. One disadvantage with decoder-based model is they are huge, as we all know. And an encoder-based model is usually more lean and mean, so it can be used for your generic task and ideal for production problems. And hence, that is why BERT was very popular before ChatGPT came in. So here they are mentioning about. the different uh, aspects of encoder only model one advantage of a bird model that is it is bidirectional in nature that means it can look both ways forward as well and backward as well what does that mean so for example if you are working with an llm say you are working with llama generative models they are mathematically not allowed to peak at later tokens so until unless they don't output the current token they can't look at it but that's not the case with bird so then hence they have an advantage now we will be talking about the different performance and different metrics on which modern bird has outperformed all the models so the best one if you look into the last section the code section so basically here it has outperformed all the models by a huge margin be it bird base or be it bird large so here you can see that the second best number uh, metric is 47.3 by roberta and by now modern bird has giving 59.5 and similarly on sq that is a stack overflow question answering system the data set it is scoring 83.9 which is a huge leap and all the other metrics also you can see this information retrieval here you can see that here also it has improved massively so i think modern bird can be now taken as the king in the bird family and the second best the deep beta v3 not just in terms of performance uh, in terms of the accuracy of metrics it has also outperformed the models in terms of the efficiency the fastness modern bird is fast it is twice as fast as dberta in fact up to four plus fast this is just amazing apart from that as it is mentioned for code retrieval it is unique because no other model was trained on such data set before and hence its metrics as we all saw were just amazing this line should be our crux from the entire diagram that modern bird is 2 to 3 cross faster than the next fastest model so this is great and they uses flash attention so that is the key to its fastness now the question that you might be thinking is why is modern but called modern so this is the best part uh, uh, eventually they have been multiple changes that they have brought into the existing bird architecture mostly into the transformer architecture attention being used and data scales and sources So as we already mentioned in the starting, Pareto improvements were observed in the bird family where if a model was improving on the accuracy, it was taking a hit on the runtime, or if it is take it was good at runtime, it was taking a hit on accuracy. So it was a trade-off. 
but not in case of modern but it is it has improved in both the cases so this is the line that you can read here like for example diverta v3 had a better glue and classification performance but sacrifice on both efficiency and retrieval so now this problem has been resolved and how let's check it out so they have brought some major transformations in the transformer architecture so first of all is a rotary positional embedding so if you know how a transformer works there is a concept called as positional embeddings that come in that helps the model to understand the context of the word given the positions of different words given now an upgraded version of that is a rotary positional embedding that is mentioned apart from that instead of using mlp layers the multi layered perceptrons they are now using a new sort of an activation function that is gglu layers we won't be diving much into this apart from that some sort of an extra normalization has been added as well the other things that they have improved uh, inclusion of flash attention to is the most efficient one and they are now efficient for cpu usage as well that is also important one more important aspect that they have brought in is global and local attention so uh, if i give you a brief by global attention we mean that for every word that is getting used every token that is getting used it is looking for context from all the words so for example if it a sentence has 100 words and you want to calculate the attention for for example the 20th word so it is calculating the it is looking for the attention from all the 100 words that is called as global attention and hence leads to more computation now in case of local inclusion of local attention you are forming a window for a given word so if you are trying to calculate the attention for the 20th word it might be looking into its 10 adjacent words only and hence not to the entire context saving on computation so this is the diagram that the team has shown in case of global attention being used everywhere you are looking for all the tokens in case of local and global attention so you are altering between them so here you can see that at times you would be saving on computation unpadding and sequence packing is also introduced so one thing that the team has uh, noticed is that at times when you might be knowing how padding works so for all the text sequences which are not in the same length you first add some padded tokens for example zeros you usually add towards the end of the sentence to make all of them in the same length but this leads to wastage of resources because once you go into computation what happens the computer uh, devotes its computation towards mapping through those padded context as well but the padded context is adding no value to you hence there is a concept called as unpadding rather than keeping these padded tokens we remove them all and concatenate them into mini batches the batch size of one so this is something that they are doing here if you can understand so multiple things have been changed uh, transformer where they have introduced a uh, rope that is the rotary position embedding they have introduced flash attention too they are using a combination of global and local attention sequence packing and unpadding is coming some sort of a tricks have been played around they came to the conclusion that deeper models with narrow layers often outperforms shallow models with fewer wider layers they have kept these things also in mind paying attention to the hardware also model dimensions need to align with gpu hardware for maximum performance so different things have been considered to improve modern bird and hence it has outperformed everything so these are the key aspects that you can read from the blog defining a target gpu as common inference ones so they are expecting a modern bird to be used on these gpus 3090 and 4090 by nvidia if you remember roughly defining a target model size is to be 130 to 150 million parameters file embedding size much ma must match the original bird dimension so basically as they have mentioned you can from today onwards just plug and play with modern bird you can replace your older bird dimensions uh, bird model and place the modern bird and it will work as smooth as ever coming to a conclusion basically modern bird looks great compared to the other members in the family and should be your go to model for text embeddings now how to use the model we will be telling that as well so to use the model is quite easy just to install the latest version of transformers through git plus https to install flash attention as well and i would suggest you to use the transformer pipeline where you can mention the task fill mask so you would be providing a mask in the input the model id is answer.ai forward slash modern bird hyphen base if you wish to use large just mention it as large 
and the torch D type is B float 16. You are providing the input text with the mask. He walked to the mask, passing the pipeline. And here you can see that the scores given for the different words that are coming in. So expected word is door, score is 0.12. He walked to the office, 0 0.03. He walked to the library, 0 0.02. So likewise, you can use the model BERT library, the modern BERT model, free of cost using Hugging Face Transformer pipeline. And you can get started with it straight away. Thank you so much.